Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me for another live stream lesson with me, Stu Fuchs and Ukulele Zen. Really glad that you're here. Thanks for joining me for another session. I want to jump right into things. I see that there are a lot of folks in the room already. This is great. From California to Israel, from British Columbia and Seattle, all the way to Tokyo. Well, hello, Teiko. Good to have you here. I'm so glad that you all decided to join me. This lesson, we're going to be focusing on an uplifting song. We're going to play it on our ukuleles. As we go through this, we're going to be working with a song sheet. This song sheet is free. Check the links down below. If you're watching live, take a moment to go download it. If you're watching this as a replay, of course, go download it and you can rewind this video Use it as many times as you like, just like all my live stream lessons. These come the first of the month, each and every month from this channel, Ukulele Zen. As we go through the lesson, I'll also be zooming in on my hands. As we go through the lesson, I'm going to be teaching you two very cool percussive strums, and I'm really excited to share those strums with you. And after we jam for a little while, I have some really exciting announcements. There are links about them in the description below. But I'll be telling you all about these announcements really soon. And at the very end of this lesson, we'll sit together with some mindfulness meditation. In fact, why don't we do that right now as we warm up our first chords? Thank you for joining me. Please, whatever ukulele you have, high G, low G. If you're playing a baritone, please, uh, by apologies, I don't have a baritone sheet, but please play your G major chord. Let's take a moment to come home to the present moment. We'll be saying hello to everybody and answering your questions in the chat as we go through this. But you know, sound exists in the present moment. It's a wonderful medium for meditating. So come on, let's warm up our chords. And as we strum our beautiful G chord, Listen to what's really present. Take a moment to connect with your breath. To strum the chord and listen to it ring just like you would listen to a bell. Connect with your in-breath and your out-breath. Maybe you feel it at the tip of the nose. Maybe you feel it in the back of the throat the rising and falling of the belly. And that brings us home. As we go through this lesson today, I encourage you to continue to come home to the present moment, to your breathing, to the felt sensation of breathing and this beautiful little tree we get to hold. So glad you're here. Let's get started with strumming this with a pretty straightforward strum. I'm gonna be showing a whole bunch of rhythmic variations and making some cool announcements. Thank you for being with me. Why don't we start with an easy strum everybody can do, just to get ourselves familiar with the song. If you haven't heard this before, this is a song performed by Ziggy Marley, the Blues Busters. This version today is kind of a hybrid of two of them, and it goes like this. If I had the wings of an eagle, if if I had the wings of an eagle, I would fly, fly away, fly away, and be at rest. This is just the easy run through, so just find yourself in the music. I'll sing it up now. If I had the wings of an eagle If I had the wings of an eagle I would fly, fly away Fly away And be at rest Since I have no wings Since I have no wings since I have no wings, I cannot fly, fly, fly. Hey, since I have no wings, since I have no wings, since I have no wings, I'm gonna sing, 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 sing. If I had the wings of an eagle, if I had the wings of an eagle, I would fly, fly away. Fly away and be at rest. La la 
last line again. Fly away and be at rest. One more. Fly away and be at rest. All right, everybody. We're warming ourselves up. Hey, thanks for joining. Italy's in the house. Bucharest, Romania's in the house. St. Louis, Missouri's in the house. Trey Romano's in the house. Namaste, sister. Barry's in the house from Brewster. Wow, thanks for joining me today. It's April. Happy spring. Now we're gonna play a lot more rhythm. We're gonna sing some more. Let's just warm ourselves up and we'll start to add a little more to our strum, maybe some fan strokes some taps, wherever you feel it. We'll talk this stuff out in a moment, but let's just jam. Three, four, if I had the wings of an eagle. Well, if I had the wings of an eagle, I would fly, fly away, fly away, and be at rest. If I had the wings of an eagle If I had the wings of an eagle I would fly, fly away Fly away And be at rest Since I have no wings Since I have no wings since I have no wings, I cannot fly, fly, fly. Since I have no wings, since I have no wings, since I have no wings, I'm gonna sing, 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 sing. If I had the wings of an eagle, well, if I had the wings of an eagle, I would fly, <laughs> fly. Thanks very much, everybody. I don't mean to blow your ears out. There ain't no way for me to get those high notes except to belt them out. Welcome. Spain is in the house. Beverly, thanks for joining. Really, really glad that you decided to join me for this. Today's lesson, an uplifting song. That was just the first run through. And now we're going to go deeper into uh, some teaching. We're going to get into some more vocal warm-ups. We're going to get into some rhythm. Really glad you're here. Can I please just take two minutes, at the most two minutes, to let you know about some exciting things. I'm getting back on the road. I'm going to be in Salt Lake City, and there's links to all my events in the description below. There's a link to my calendar at my website, stufuchs.com. I am so excited to go back to Salt Lake City. If you're going to be in the area or you feel like flying into the beautiful Salt Lake, this is going to be a deep immersion. We're going to be playing band arrangements for ukulele. I have a fantastic program I'm curating, and um, you'll really get a lot out of it, I promise. I'll also be playing a full concert that day. So I'm really excited about that. I also am returning to the Omega Institute for my annual ukulele zen retreat. For five days, we stay at the amazing Omega Institute in Rhinebeck, New York. There's links to all the details below. It's five days of music making, tons of fun. There's daily yoga classes, healthy food, trails to hike on. It's all part of Omega's annual arts week. My classes are, of course, centered on the ukulele, but we go deep into mindfulness practices that bridge meditation and music in a really accessible and powerful way. If you want to join me for this event, check it out. There are links down below. I'll even be there the weekend before with a special didgeridoo and breathing retreat, so I'm totally psyched about that. Two more quick things, if you don't mind. 
every month for these live streams. I offer a special discount for those who show up live. Uh, there's 30% off anything in my store that includes, you know, t-shirts, books, courses, anything. Check the links down below. There's a promo code down there. Uh, April Uke, 30% off everything. The code expires midnight Monday, so tomorrow. So it's just, just for you, you folks who show up uh, each and every month. Really glad you're here. And last but not least, huge thanks to everybody who's a member of the Patreon community. If you're a member, you already know that you get free song sheets like the ones we're working with today, plus bonus lessons, jam tracks, special discounts. It's a, a real delight to serve you, and I truly appreciate your support. Members who are at the upper levels also receive uh, monthly jazz lessons where we go deep into chord, melody, and other fun stuff. So check the links down below if you want to join, if you want to support, and get some cool perks for your membership. All right. Thanks for letting me share all that goodies with you. Um, and yeah, if you can't attend a live event, there are links down below. I'll be offering some online webinars. If you're enjoying what you're experiencing so far, then I think you'll dig those very much. How you feeling, friends? How about we warm up our voices, okay? Let's play our G. And I mean the note, G. Okay, we're gonna just lose the slideshow for one sec and uh, focus in on just playing this note. Now you can sing it an octave below, you can match the pitch if you have a higher vocal range. So as we hold down our G chord, we're picking this note. And let's breathe in deep. Patrons, by the way, patrons get a monthly vocal lesson from me as well. Breathe in deeply, sigh. It's important that you begin with a soft feeling in the throat. Now allow your sigh to land on any note. If it's not in tune, don't worry. Just keep on singing. The idea is that instead of forcing out the note, it's like we're letting a little air out of a balloon. Very, very relaxed way to sing. When this becomes integrated into the way you sing, every note you sing has that relaxed quality to it. So let's sing these four notes, okay? Each one with a soft, relaxed sigh. Here we go. Continue, make sure you're singing ah, very open sound. Thank you. I see your questions. I'm going to address them in a sec. wondering what happens if my voice is out of tune. First of all, <laughs> you do this, okay? Uh, the voice is a muscle, the vocal cords will get stronger. A powerful tool shared with me is to siren, to slide into the notes, especially powerful if you slide from below. So, uh, Another powerful tool for singing is to really truly listen, really listen to what's happening before you sing. So I encourage you to hang out with this exercise. We're going to move on, but you know, if you're a member of the Patreon community, you get monthly uh, lessons like this on vocal technique. Let's take a moment now and just sing a bit of the song in this slow way. And then, as promised, we're getting some more funky rhythms. The next chord solo book, Larry, is ready.
but I'm recording instructional videos and I'm really going to work on getting it out ASAP. Um, hello, Germany. Glad you're here. Uh, Irina, I think I'm pronouncing your name right. I would love to come to Europe with a concert and a tour. It's been a long time since I've been in Europe. Had the wings of an eagle, or you could sing it up. If I had the wings of an eagle, a really important tip is to feel where the vowels resonate in your mouth, in your throat, in your nasal cavity. I, where is I? I, I, and really send it there. It helps the pitch to not only be more in tune, but it resonates through your skull and your nasal cavity and your voice and your mouth the same way the notes resonate well through the wood of your instrument. You can direct the sound to the different parts. So try it with me. Pay attention to the vowels. If I had the wings of an eagle. Really send it up there. Eagle. It helps when you're playing high notes to really send it up into the vocal, ca into the nasal cavity, and at the same time to feel your diaphragm supporting. So you're reaching up high while you're rooted down below. If I have the wings of an eagle. Again. If I have the wings of an eagle. Nice. And of course, feel free to sing with falsetto. I would fly, fly away. Or you could sing it down. I would fly, fly away. And last little bit of melody lesson. That's the melody, and it's, of course, harmonized in all the recordings up here. Ziggy Marley and the Blues Busters, uh, two different bands. Check them out. So that melody is... Fly... Try it with me. Fly... Next phrase. Away... Let's feel it now. Let's just feel it and go for it. You can in your own time. Listen to those recordings. Ziggy Marley is playing it in the key of G. Now, let's learn a cool strum. Dare I say a cool ass strum, okay? Don't get me canceled, please. Check it out. When you're playing, there's two very cool concepts. We've covered one of them already. Down, up, tap, up, down, up, tap. Now that tap, doesn't have to be very hard, just very lightly on the strings. Down, up, tap. And there's a moment there where it's percussive and you kind of shut the sound of the chord off. Down, up, tap, up, down, up, tap. Try it with me. Here we go, all together. Down, up, tap, up, down, up. How you feeling? Let me know if you got any questions in the comments section. Keep the wrist light. Keep that tapping motion. It's kind of like you're hitchhiking, just swinging, swinging your thumbs. All right, Fonzarelli. Down, up, tap, up, 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 down, up, tap. It's a light percussive sound. On a low G instrument, it sounds like this. Two, three, here we go. Down, Awesome. We're of course practicing it slow just to get in the groove, but right now we're gonna apply that thing to the whole song 
And we can always go back and forth between that and other strums that feel good to you, all right? Let's try it right now. And whenever you're learning a new strum, always a good idea to talk it out. Say it loud enough to reach your ears. And then you watch what you're saying. This way you encode the information in your brain more thoroughly, really wiring it deep into your neural net. Try it with me. Say it and play it and really look at it. Take it in through the senses. Ready? Down, up, tap, up. Now, stop saying it and just feel it. Maybe you can hear that voice in your head, and eventually that voice is just translated into the feel. All right, subtle detail before we jam. You may like to tap here. You see, instead of over the wood, over the frets, over here. Down, up. And for this, you get a slightly different sound, might feel better, and then it's cool to let your arm dance. All right, you wanna try that with me? You wanna try it? Let's do it, okay? You gotta keep your shoulder loose, and we'll go like this. Down, up, tap, up, down, up, tap. This is gonna be a good one for the next drum I'll show you later. So really, whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, it's your music. Let's do it together a little faster. One, two, down, down, down. If I had the wings of an eagle, if I had the wings of an eagle, starting to hurt <laughs> take it take a break and just rub it hey thank you very much for hanging with another strum technique now these strum techniques you don't have to be committed to it the entire song through quick quick little idea here for you to maybe try out maybe you love the sound but you don't want to do it the entire time because you makes your thumb tender it'll get stronger or you just want a different sound, maybe on this bridge right here, you want something different. So you could play like this. Fly away and be at rest. And just go back to, since I have no wings, since I have no wings, since I have, you know, and just change up your tone. You know, you don't have to just play it one way the, the entire time. All right. Percussive strum number two, you want me to show you? Okay, let's do it. Percussive strum number two, please be sure to check uh, the links down below. And if you're enjoying yourself, do me a huge favor, will you please click the like button? That actually helps YouTubers out tremendously. Just click that like button. And if you haven't already, hope you'll subscribe to this channel, Ukulele Zen. 
Uh, I have lots and lots of content for you right here at the channel page. Now I wanna share oh, this other rhythm with you. It involves tapping on the bridge, coming up, a snap, and then an up. And it sounds like this. I'll zoom in on my hands in a moment, but this is what it sounds like in a, in when you put it all together. All right. All right. Now, I know you're probably thinking, I don't want to do that with my, my finger all day. I got a tip for you. No pun intended. We're gonna break down each one of these strokes, but right now, take your middle finger of your strumming hand and just wiggle it a little bit. See how loose you can make it, all right? Because the secret to making a good tone and keeping it relaxed is going to be the contact very light. So as soon as it touches, send it to sleep. Right before you touch, really make it soft. If it's stiff, it's going to hurt more, okay? You can think of it like hitting a wall with a sponge, soft, versus hitting the wall with a piece of wood, all right? So this is going to be very soft. Here are the strokes, and this is a rhythm that I'm gonna be exploring more and more in the future. There's all kinds of variations and ways you can use this. Right now, hold down your G chord. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap in an interesting place. It's right next to the bridge. It's not on the bridge, but it's right before it. And when you do that, especially if your uke is plugged in, ooh, you get a cool bass. If you plug in your ukulele into an amp and do this, you get a cool boom. It sounds very, very deep. Boom, okay, so just do this. And what we want to do is bounce off. All right, I'm not tapping and staying down. I'm bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Cool, now, that's the first stroke. You go bounce, and look how my index finger is down here. I go up, so with me, bounce, up. Bounce up. This becomes very graceful. It's like Tai Chi. Bounce up. Bounce up. Okay, now let's make that motion a little smaller. Bounce up. And now what we're going to do is use the middle finger. Smack. I am flicking it out, but it's very soft. Bounce. Flick. <laughs> you still glad you showed up? Bounce, up, flick, and then up. That's it, four strokes for now. Bounce, up, flick, up, bounce, up, flick, up, bounce, up, flick, up, bounce. You may be a very experienced cat, Thank you for going slow with me. Even if you've been playing all your life, never a bad idea. In fact, it's a very good idea to take things slow. It relaxes us, it makes our learning more thorough. And we can start to zoom out to the big picture. What does it actually sound like? What does it feel like when I make these four gestures? Now, I'm going to do this on a low G in a moment, but now one little variation, you can go bass, down, up, tap, up, bass, down, up, tap, up, bass, down, Like to do this with the middle finger you may just want to tap you know however it works for you as long as you can 
get that index finger going. All right. Now let's try this out just a little bit. I know this is a challenging strum, so let's practice it just with a little bit of just the G chord. Okay. Just get the groove in there. Thanks for doing uh, this along with me. Really appreciate you joining in. So it goes like this. Bass, up, tap, up, bass, up. This is a very impressive thing to do if you're playing by yourself. If you're playing with a band, you're never going to you're not going to hear this as much unless you're plugged in, okay? So you may just want to play if I had the wings of just the upstrokes. Okay, that's another option. Let's try one more time. You have an ice pack? <laughs> I'm starting to get tender, but you keep it light and you develop uh, you develop that endurance, all right? Don't worry about a thing. Hey, that's the wrong song, man. Let's play this one. This song sometimes is If I Had the Wings of a Dove. One, two, three, four. If I had the wings of a dove. that you may not want to hang with all the time, but it's not a bad strum to really start to hang with. All right. Now, let me know if you have any questions in the chat. Do me a favor. If you have any questions, I want to answer them, but you can help me by putting a whole bunch of question marks before and after your questions. So it really pops out of the chat and I can answer your question. While we're waiting for some questions before we go on with uh, you know, answering them and uh, some more jamming. I just want to remind you that down below there are links to my upcoming ukulele zen retreat. You will love it if you can make it. I promise you will have a really deep time with your music. If there's anyone out there, I know Trey has been to the ukulele zen retreat. Maybe Michael McKinney's in the house. Uh, other folks who may be in the chat right now uh, testify. Let them know uh, just how wonderful it is. It is. I look forward to it each year. Uh, there's also uh, a discount code available for you for anything in my store, so please check the links down below. And if you'd like to join the community and get all kinds of perks for your membership, starting at just two bucks a month, you get all kinds of perks, including song sheets, jam tracks, access to a whole library of content and of course, at the, uh, the upper tiers is even more available for you. So check those links down below. And I really hope that you are having a wonderful time. If you are in the Salt Lake City area next month, join me, please, for a really wonderful deep dive into music and band arrangements. We're going to have a good time. I can't wait to come back to Salt Lake City. We had so much fun last time. I haven't been on a plane in a long, 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 long time, over three and a half years, so I'm excited. Walt Davis has, uh, has a question, will you ever come to Austin, Texas? I would love to. I would love to. I did go through Austin some years back, and uh, yeah, fantastic. I stayed down the street from a laundromat which had a taqueria in it. Get your clothes clean and eat mind-blowing Tex-Mex food at the same time. Not a bad thing. Um, 
my next chord solo book is going to be available uh, soon, Larry. I finished the book, but I'm recording instructional videos. So each each um, solo will have an uh, instructional video with it. So that's taking some time, but it's almost ready. Sue has a question. When left hand muting, is there an easy ways to use the thumb to mute like G7? Yes, and Sue, it's perfect, perfect timing for this kind of question because you know as you play these percussive strums, this is a good point to notice. You're going down, up, and when you tap right here, your thumb or some part of your hand will mute the strings. So what it ends up doing when you play this faster is you. See how the, th the chord really gets muted as you're flicking your finger. If you don't like the finger flick for whatever reason, you can just go tap, up, mute, up, tap, up, mute, up. Should have mentioned that some minutes ago, but it's really a good thing to do. Tap, up, mute, up, tap, up, mute, up, tap. Now that mute could be a tap or it just could be simply touching the strings. So Sue, I hope that gives you a little window into what you can do. What you would do is tap, up, mute, up, 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 tap, up, mute. All right. So someone was asking about the ukulele Zen retreat. Yes. Um, it's part of their annual Arts Week. I'm one of five artists who are holding retreats at the Fantastic Center. One of them will be Amanda Palmer. Her workshop is sold out, but during the week you can drop in. There's some open sessions some evenings where you can check out. Amanda Palmer, you may know, she's a um, punk rock icon and wrote a very famous song about the ukulele. So she's, she's amazing. I'm really excited to to uh, get to hang with her again. Um, Sue is wondering about left hand muting. Yeah, so you can mute. Uh, you're asking uh, if you mute with the left hand. Uh, trick to, yeah, so like on G7, you mean you would lift up the fingers and maybe let, let that thumb reach around and touch that string. That's a good way to mute. For this particular strum, Sue, I'm mentioning using the strumming hand because there's so much action going on here that it's just nice to leave the chords be, you know, just to let your fretting hand continue to hold down the chords while your strumming and picking does the muting. So yeah, there's all kinds of ways that you can sneak in other fingers to mute. Mary Beth has got a question. I keep, I need help figuring out how to put a strap on my uke. Yeah, well, I love having a strap. You can go to a music store and pick up strap buttons or, you know, online. You can certainly find strap buttons. Take them to a music store. It's not difficult to put one in if you have a drill and you hold the uke steady. Um, there's all kinds of YouTube tutorials on putting a strap button and then you adjust the strap to the height you want it at and then I don't have to do anything to hold up the ukulele. It's just right here waiting for me, okay, which is a nice thing. Um, any more questions? Hey, Nan. Yes, I'm going to be in Salt Lake City soon. Can't wait. Um, thank you for your uh, thank you for your kind comment. Trey about the ukulele zen retreat really wonderful friendships made there for sure well my friends it's been a great lesson but we're not done yet let's jam the song again um, you're gonna see me play a number of different strums just to recap we could strum this with the flick, the fan stroke, okay, we can do strum number two, where we kind of have a relaxed back beat, and that was the second strum I showed, down, up, tap, up, down, up, tap, up, down, up, tap, up, down, up, tap, and if 
if you want, you could also So there's a lot of lot of ways that this can be strummed. And don't forget, simple is often the best. Can we put that in all caps, bold letter right here across the screen? As you're playing, there's a lot of rhythm. Feel free to simplify. Fly away and be at rest. And then just come back in with a groove. This is a cool thing to do, you know? We don't always have to be filling the space up. All right, so I hope that's clear. A lot of different options. Now let's just let it go. Let what comes out naturally come out. Thank you very much for joining me. Simple is often the best, definitely. So let's play. If you haven't heard this song, go look up Ziggy Marley, Wings of an Eagle. It's on his album, Family Time great family record but it is hip a lot of great art Paul Simon's on it Willie Nelson's on it it's Jack Johnson's on it it's a cool kids record quote quote children's record and the blues busters old school ska band they are so cool you gotta if you're into old school 1960s ska you gotta check out the blues busters all right Thank you for being with me. Click that like button if you're digging it. Check the links down below. Let's jam, and then we're gonna have a little meditation. Thank you. One, two, three, four. If I had the wings of an eagle, if I had the wings of an eagle, to sing, 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 if I had the wings of an eagle, if I had the wings of an eagle.
fun song, an easy song to play, but one that is a lot of fun to embellish with other rhythms. I hope you have a great time playing this with your friends. Don't forget that song sheet is available. It's for free. Go check out the links down below. It's at my Patreon page on a public post. Many, many thanks to everyone who supports this channel with your memberships, with your presence here. Really appreciate you helping out so much. You know, you can help just by clicking that like button, subscribing to this channel, sharing my videos on social media. There's a ton of content um, in the library right here at the channel page, and there's more to come. So thanks so much for joining me. Be sure to check the links down below, take advantage of that discount code, and to learn more about my live events. Trey, thank you very much for that generous donation. I appreciate that so much. Carla's in the house. Yeah, Carla was at the Omega Zen Retreat. You can see her comment in the chat. Thank you so much. So it was difficult to, uh, you know, convey it just right here with a live stream. We're not in the same room, but when we're together and we spend five days bonding and uh, really going deep into not only music technique, but techniques of listening and being with one another, um, our music really blossoms in a wonderful way. The Omega Campus has a lot of gifts, tasty food, good friends, yoga, dance classes. It's a ton of fun. So if you want to join me, blah, blah, blah. Check the links. All right, my friends. Thank you for being a member of this uh, session right here. Let's take a moment just to come home to the present moment. We're going to listen to this bell and just breathe naturally, okay? We don't have to breathe in any special way. In fact, the exercise is to just develop mindfulness of breathing, to have a felt sensation of our breath, our bodies know exactly how much oxygen we need. So let's just soften up and be, we'll just ride the waves of our in-breath and our out-breath, feeling it perhaps in the nose, the throat, the rise and fall of your belly. And I appreciate you being here. And thank you for trusting me and guiding you in a little mindfulness exercise. Let's begin by coming to a place of stillness, relaxing the body. Begin by identifying your in-breath and identifying your out-breath. Breathing in, this is my in-breath. Breathing out, this is my out-breath. You can say silently to yourself as you breathe in, in. As you breathe out, out. Breathing in, breathing out. This is a training, a gentle, loving training, the training of coming back again and again and again with great kindness and love for yourself. Just keep coming back to your in-breath and your out-breath. Breathing in, I follow my in-breath from beginning to the end. 
breathing out, I follow my out-breath from the beginning to the end. Just allowing the breath to enter and leave your body in a natural way. Allow your attention to rest, riding the waves of your breath in and out. A relaxed concentration The same kind of concentration you might bring to a beautiful object that you find on a walk in the woods, an interesting stone, an interesting stick. The way you might bring your attention to a seashell you find on a walk on the beach, running your fingers through it and noticing the details. Follow your in-breath from beginning to the end. You may notice that as you're bringing attention to your breath, the quality of your breath changes. Be it becomes deeper, it becomes slower, simply because you're paying attention to it and taking a moment to honor it, to be with it. There's one final stage to today's meditation. Continue to ride your in-breath and your out-breath. Breathing in, I smile. Breathing out, I release. Allow a half smile to blossom on your lips. This is a smile that is a gift to yourself. Just feeling the pleasure of feeling your in-breath, your out-breath, simply being alive. Breathing in, I smile. I smile to the wonders of life. And I smile to the difficulties in life as well. Like everything, the joys and the sorrows are temporary. And we watch them arise and we watch them dissolve. rooted in our attention, rooted in our mindful awareness. Breathing in, I smile. It's a practice to smile. Breathing out, I release. Just 
just simply set aside your concerns, your projects and plans. They'll all be waiting for you, patiently waiting when we're finished. But just for right now, nourish yourself. Dwelling happily in the present moment. Breathing in, I smile. Breathing out, I release. Breathing in, I dwell in the present moment. Breathing out, I know this is a precious moment. Present moment, precious moment. Dear friends, please remain connected to your in-breath and your out-breath. As we practice with the gatha, the practice poem, this poem coordinating your breath and your mind in the present moment. In, out, Deep, slow, calm, ease, smile, release. In, out. Deep, slow, calm, ease, smile, release, present moment, precious moment. Present moment, wonderful moment. Thank you very much for practicing with me, music and mindfulness. I look forward to being with you again in another live stream session. If you watched all the way to the end, I appreciate you joining me. 
And this five-part gatha comes from the tradition of Thich Nhat Han, the Plum Village tradition of Buddhist practice. Thich Nhat Han um, famously said, you don't need to be a Buddhist. He's a Zen master. He passed a few years back. You don't need to be a Buddhist to practice mindfulness. Anywhere you are, you can pause and take five breaths in, out, deep, slow, calm, ease, smile, release, present moment, wonderful moment. And allow this gatha, this practice poem, to guide you into a felt, a felt uh, experience of how your mindfulness blossoms beautiful fruit for your heart and for those around you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you joining me for another session here. There'll be more. Look forward to seeing you all through the month here on YouTube, at Patreon, and hopefully in person. Wishing you and your loved ones good health, many blessings, peace and love to all. Thank you.